Welcome to Reality Meeting. If God can can give us something that is good, why will we not in return give Please subscribe good to this to channel and turn on the notification being? bell. Why? And if we think we know how to give good, why would God not give us the, the best? If we human beings can give, can know how to give, why would God not give us the best to replace what we have given? Yes, we have given, then we are afraid that whatever we are spending, how will we get it back? Am I sure business will come again? Business will come again. Business will come again. You might think it's going to be delayed. There is a reason for the delay. There is a reason for the delay. Praise God. God give what is useful. That's the topic today. He give whatever is useful. So you cannot give what is not useful to your fellow human being. Whatever you know that is not valuable, not good. Why are you giving it to your fellow human being? Why? Praise God. It is not compulsory. You must give. If it's not from your heart, why are you giving? Because if not from your heart, you give anything, any rubbish to someone. You let him go and begin to suffer. Praise God. You know this car is giving you a headache. Why not sell it off? Instead of giving what is not good to someone, to be to suffering. That is punishment. Is that how God bless you? God has not blessed you that you, after giving you, after blessing you, you'll be suffering. God can never call a man to serve him in order to suffer him. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. Maybe our suffering is because of our ignorance, not knowing what we're supposed to do, not know how to handle what God gave to us. That is our suffering. Praise God. Remember, if God calls a man, if he chooses you, bless you, he will bless you with something. He will bring something of people that, are, that knows what to do around you so that you will not suffer. Am I correct? So that you will not suffer. Because you cannot go to job. A job means bomb bomb work. Praise God. But in this case, God can never give you what is not going to be useful in your life. He will not give you a body, no. He will give you the one you can be able to carry and solve. And who is going to solve it? The same God that will bring the, the solution to the problems. Ezekiel chapter number 36 verse 24 the bible says for i will take from i will take you from among, among the nations are we there for i will take you from among the nations gather you out of all countries and bring you into your own land God will bring you out of all countries and where maybe maybe where you are wandering, where you cannot be able to settle, where you cannot have peace, where you've been battling with too many things and bring you to your resting place. And all these are what God can do in our individual life. Do you know there are places you will stay, you will never get peace? There are places you will stay, you will keep struggling from night to night, morning to night, night to night. Why? Because you are not meant to be there. But God is saying in this verse of scripture, For I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all countries, and bring you into your own land. We bring you into your own very land. A land that he has prepared for you and for me. He will take us there. Where we will not bite our fingers or gnash our teeth. Verse 25. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you. I will sprinkle clean water on you. And you shall be clean. Did you see? All these are what God can give to us that will make us to be useful. God never give out something that will not be useful for his children. 
I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. That is, you know, idol is not until you gather stone and all this. Huh? Uh -huh. Or something that consumes your time that never allow you to remember about God. That never allow you to walk according to God's own principle. It's an idol. You see, the money you walk may be your idol. The money you walk, you walk the money by yourself. You may be worshiping the money. But he's saying, I will cleanse you. I will make you to know the value of God and the money. Who God is and what money is. He will make you know. That's why he's going to sprinkle the water and you will be clean. And you will, you will be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Verse 26. Now I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. This is how far God can go with as many as believes in him as many as, as have accepted him as his own lord and personal savior this is how far he can go he will bring you out of your lost places where you have been devalued where you have been devalued and he's going to wash you from all your filthiness he's going to bring you out of all the places you have you have, you have position idols you all call them that they are your own idol now the bible is saying here he will cleanse you and sprinkle you with a new water and give you a new what a new heart and put a new spirit within you i will take the heart of stone out of you wow i will take stone a heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Can we look at that particular area? Verse 26. Removing the heart of stone and giving you a heart of flesh. Uh, I think we're studying, Abby. Huh? Okay. Now, this heart of stone is a, a heart that has no forgiveness of forgiving spirit that is the heart of stone many people may not understand what it is i will remove that heart that spirit that is inside you that will make you not to value your fellow human being that will make you to hate that will make you never to forgive it's a heart of stone no matter what somebody do if it's not you it's not good I will remove it from you and give you what? Heart of flesh. And that heart of flesh is, this, is, the, is, the, is the one that recognizes the presence of God. That knows the value of man and his fellow human being. Praise God. Do you understand that place? Do we understand it? The heart of stone and the heart of flesh. Amen. Amen. If you are looking at it because many might not be able to understand it the way it is here but when god says, i'm removing heart of stone somebody who cannot repent of his sin somebody who cannot forgive somebody who cannot change from his bad ways that heart has had heart of stone but somebody who cherish someone else who has the spirit of love who know that these things are not good and embrace others with the love of Christ has the heart of what? Flesh. And in verse 27, the Bible says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my status. The moment you begin to walk according to the will of God, it will make you to follow his own footsteps, to walk in his own word, his own principles. This is how far God can go with as many as believes in him. This is how far he can go. That's why God can never give us what is not going to be useful for us. He's not going to give us anything that is not going to be useful. He always gives us something that will gladden his evil heart and our heart. 
praise God. I said, praise God. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and I will keep my judgment and do them. I will keep my judgment, I will do them. God can only give you what will be useful for you to walk with him. He can only give you what will be useful for you, for you to walk with him. He can't give you something that will not make you to walk with him. No. No. He will give you something that will make you to walk with him. Something that is going to be beneficial to you and your fellow human being. Walking with God. That's why he said God can only give what will be useful. Thanks for watching. If you were blessed by the video you just watched, then smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the notification bell for more exciting contents from Reality Meeting.